I hope you'll find this on a local bookshelf and follow along. Henry and Mudge and the Wild Winds Story by Cynthia Rylance and pictures by Sushi Stevenson The Twelfth Book of Their Adventures The table of contents is some winds, pows and booms, the enemy couch, and above their heads. Some winds. Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge were playing outside one hot summer day. Suddenly the wind blew so hard that it blew Henry's hat away. Wow, said Henry, some winds. Whoosh! Mudge's fur rippled, his ears flapped, his eyes got all wet. Must be a thunderstorm coming, said Henry. Uh-oh. Henry didn't like thunderstorms. They made him jumpy, but they made Mudge even jumpier. Every time a storm came, Mudge did strange things. He whined, he walked around the kitchen table about a hundred times. He sat in the bathroom alone. He put his head between the couch cushions. The only jumpy thing Henry did was whistle a lot. Lightning would crash and thunder would boom and Henry would whistle. He whistled jingle bells, he whistled happy birthday, he even whistled the star-spangled banner. Not very well. Henry knew what to do when the wild wind started. Come on, Mudge, he said, as he headed for the house. All at once the wind blew open the screen door. Crash! Whistling and whining like crazy, Henry and Mudge ran inside. Pows and booms. The sky turned very dark. Henry's mother turned on the lights. Henry's father shut all the windows. Henry and Mudge sat on the couch waiting. Splat! Sploop! The rain began. Then pow went the lightning. Boom went the thunder. Mudge went to sit in the bathroom. Mudge, Henry called. Mudge wouldn't come back. Chicken, Henry grumbled. He started whistling jingle bells, but he missed Mudge. Henry went to the bathroom door. He looked at Mudge. Mudge looked at him. Pow went the lightning. Come on, Mudge, said Henry. Let's go in the kitchen. Mudge wagged his tail a little. He followed Henry into the kitchen. Henry's mother and Henry's father were having cups of tea at the table. Boom! Mudge began to walk around the table in a circle. Henry began to whistle. Want some cocoa? Henry's mother asked. Sure, said Henry. Pow! went the lightning. Henry whistled the star-spangled banner while Mudge went around the table for the tenth time. Henry's father and Henry's mother just looked at each other. The enemy couch. Pow! The lights went out. Uh-oh, said Henry's father. Henry switched to happy birthday and Mudge went into the living room to put his head in the couch. Henry's mother brought out some candles. Henry started the fifth rounds of happy birthday. Wait, wait, said Henry's father. Maybe you could stop whistling, he said to Henry, and play a game. Boom went the thunder. What kind of game, asked Henry. Uh, let's see, said Henry's father, trying to think fast. How about the crawling through enemy lines game, he said. Mudge is a prisoner in the enemy camp, Henry's father whispered, and it is your job to rescue him. Henry looked in the living room. Mudge still had his head in the couch. Uh-huh, said Henry. Pow! Hear that enemy fire, said Henry's father. Boom! And that cannon? Henry's father's eyes were big. Henry nodded. He was ready to cross enemy lines. He was ready to free Mudge from the enemy couch. Don't forget to take a flashlight, said Henry's father, and watch out for scorpions. Henry grabbed the light and dropped to the floor. He crawled inch by inch across the enemy kitchen. Pow! Boom! He crawled inch by inch across the enemy dining room. Boom! Pow! He crawled right into the enemy camp. There was his best friend Mudge, a bravely waiting prisoner with his head in the enemy couch. Mudge, whispered Henry. His brave friend lifted an ear. Mudge, Henry whispered louder. His brave friend wagged a tail. Come on, Mudge. Henry crawled over and pulled his brave friend's collar. You're free now, Henry said. 
Mudge sniffed the air of freedom. Mudge sniffed the socks of his rescuer. Pow! Boom! Mudge sniffed a fast track to the bathroom. Henry frowns. He had hoped Mudge would stay. At least you missed the scorpions, said Henry's father. Henry grinned a little. And at least you know where to find Mudge if you need him. Henry's father said, Right, Henry laughed. Above their heads. For the rest of the storm, Henry sat at the kitchen table with his parents. They played cards by candlelight. Soon there were only little pows and tiny booms. Then there weren't any. The lights came back on. The sky cleared, and Mudge came out of the bathroom, wagging as if he'd been to a cracker factory. Henry and Mudge went back outside. They sniffed the fresh air. They felt the wet leaves. And like it was a painting, a great giant rainbow rose up and spread its beautiful colors right above their heads. The end.